Welcome back to our 25 Days of Christmas Challenge. I'm Tracy. And I'm Elena. And today is day seven of our holiday challenge. We've actually made it a whole week. Yay! Yay! This has been a lot more work than we expected, but yeah. it has been fun. And it has really um, pushed us beyond our creative boundaries. Today's challenge is... Christmas stockings. Christmas stockings. Made from old clothing. Yes, so for today we will be recycling old clothing that we were actually gonna give to the Goodwill. So whatever is not used in this video, we will be donating. So this is our box of clothes that we'll be giving away. Some leggings, some sweaters. Some yes, we'll be choosing our fabrics from this box. We're gonna take you back to kindergarten today where we trace, cut, and paste. Yep. And pasting with a glue gun. With a glue gun. Love glue guns. Um, so we have some material off to the side here. Basically, I have glitter. We just have uh, white glitter and gold to work with right now. She has glue sticks. Um, I have my acrylic paints. We also have fabric paint here. Mom, you never point the gun. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, and then we have our scissors and our ruler. So we'll get down to that. So now we're gonna choose our fabrics and start from there. Are you ready? I'm ready. Cutting and pasting. Yeah, that's one I like. Okay, she's using that one. I think this is definitely challenging because some fabrics are easier than others. Like this is a knit. I don't think it'll really... Uh, if you cut it right, I don't know. Is there enough there to work with? Yeah. That's what you want to consider, you know? The checker is fun. I think I'm going to do this. All right. I think I'm going to go with these denim jeans. Have to put on my specs, y'all. Hmm. Okay, so... So we have to trace and cut, and trace this is going to be, or oh, I can do red. I could do red instead. Hot, that rhymed. Red instead. Oh, the, I, I like do the burgundy, red. yeah. Oh, yeah, burgundy, that's what I meant. And you can do a denim bow. Ooh, okay. All right. So we're going to put that here, the white pencil. That's what Nana used to use. Nana used to use a seamstress pencil. Yeah. My mom was a great seamstress. She made wedding gowns and communion dresses and uh, lots of good stuff. It's not gonna these be pants are not going to be saved for anyone. Yeah, I don't think these are either. I have too big of a foot. So we cut out our fabric and uh, just, just a reminder, work inside out. Yes. Work inside out. Make sure you give yourself a little bit of, of extra, you know, cutting space. So I failed sewing class. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna just glue, glue it this way, like that. And so I do have a little pocket on one side. This was the back pocket to the jean I cut it out of. And I also have a belt loop on top here. But my top part needs some adjusting. I'm going to glue mine exactly along the edges here so that I can turn it inside out. This is my my tube sock. <laughs> Ain't it cute? So I'm sure back in the old days they just used one of these, but we're getting fancy, right? So I used it to, to trace uh, around, just did a big trace around it. So I'm going to line it up, line it up in front of me. And I'm gonna glue it. I hope I do this good. <laughs> I just got this idea to add this onto my um, sock. So I'm going to cut the arm off and basically have this part coming through on the top and I'm probably gonna like fold it over. 
And I also uh, decided the sweater because I have a thin pair of jeans here. Well, it's not even jean material, but I wanna add some cushion to the inside. So we finished the construction of the sock and now we're going to get down to our decorating. So watch us decorate. Oh, oh my gosh, the key thing for decorations, should we do the bag of words? I got snow. Okay, I got star. <laughs> That's perfect. Okay. Fair. So I'm gonna get down to the glitter. <laughs> and what you gonna do, Trey Trey? <laughs> Damn. And I'm thinking like, oh my gosh. I always see these people on other YouTube channels. She's addicted. Do tons of stuff with glue sticks. So I've seen people do, you know, those five minute craft videos where they make like snowflakes and stuff like that. They do it with a glue gun. They do all kinds of crap with a glue gun. So I just finished putting it on uh, on uh, aluminum foil and I sprinkled some stuff on there. Let's see if it comes out pretty. Um, that doesn't look too pretty. As for me and my sock, I just coated the borders with some gold glitter. So I'm gonna give it some time to dry before I lift it and shake off the glitter residue. And I'm gonna start thinking about how I can design the remainder of it. But she's gonna be a shining star. done with our decorations. I'm just gonna do this to get the remaining glitter off of mine. Oh, this is so cute. Look, my little stripes. But I think I am gonna remove that bling, right? That's cute. That's very cute. So this is my final sock. I think this it's is final. my sock. So I have the star. I was very literal and she has snow. I got snow. Hello. And I think I'm gonna change my bling. I think we have to, to put a loop on it, like so I'm we can kind of hang like off. this. My. I'm gonna do a button instead of the bling. I think that looks better. I like my snow. It's cute. So we definitely went back to kindergarten in making these snazzy little socks. Oh, I forgot. Well, I'm probably not gonna show the back, but I have a back pocket here. So, you know, if you hang this on your fireplace, someone could slide some goodies in there, maybe some money. <laughs> money socks. Money. Easy stuff that you can make at home. Yeah. I mean, you could probably- You should make this with your kids. Yeah. Any kids, you know, if you're a babysitter. Or, or if you got your own kids, or, or you, you got know, grandkids. Yeah, grandkids. Or if grandkids. you're a big kid. Or if you're a big kid. I'm a big kid. He will be having a giveaway. So that one. So what will we be giving away? Considering that we have made it to seven days of this seven days consecutive challenge did i use the right word yeah okay so we did seven days in a row which has been a lot of work um we made it yay and with that said we will be having a giveaway so in order to qualify for the giveaway you need to be subscribed you mm -hmm. need to be following at miss lavash on instagram and you need to look out for a post 
So the post is gonna give the exact instructions on how to participate in this giveaway. Now, what will we be giving away? Well, you might ask, what is this amazing jewelry you're wearing, Elena? Well, I think it's amazing. So my mom here is an awesome jewelry designer, probably one of the most talented people that I personally know. I was born into art because of this woman. She makes these wonderful turquoise jewelry earrings. She's also wearing a turquoise necklace. I'm wearing her jewelry as well, this like snazzy little bracelet. We will have one of these pieces, or maybe all, depends on how generous Miss Tracy's feeling. <laughs> <laughs> She'll just tell you a little bit about her jewelry because she actually invests a lot of time and money into the materials, so you're getting quality um, pieces. So everything's handmade, of course, and um, a lot of these beads are uh, one of a kind. I try to find things that are a little different or I, I do like to reuse old jewelry and, mm -hmm. and, re, and redesign it. So that's what I will be giving away. And um, I'll be happy to see people wearing things that they love that I made. Also, I should note that right now we are working on building her an Etsy page. However, for the holidays, how she's been selling her jewelry and what she usually does every year is that she produces a certain amount of pieces and it's usually word of mouth. So family, friends, co-workers, and that's how she does her little holiday hustle. So we just thought we'd announce it here. So if you wanna support a wonderful uh, jewelry designer, here you are, So Ms. Tracy herself. <laughs> so everything that I make is handmade. Um, the pieces are all original. You, like I said, you won't see yourself coming and going. I try to make them nice and sturdy. I do make them nice and sturdy. So again, you know, uh, support your local artists. Yes, support your local artists. And uh, with that said, we are finished here. We're done. We completed our challenge. So. Thank you for watching. Thank you for chiming in today seven. We encourage you to try this project yourself. If you do, uh, please take a picture or make a reel, make a video. Yeah, and send it to us. We'd send love to, to see us. it. You can send it to at Miss Lavash on Instagram. Um, and we'll definitely be sure to share it. If you like this video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell. All the dogs barking in this building. Okay, bye. We need to bye. put Miss Tracy to bed because <laughs> what was that? Okay, bye. Bye. We're making our own Christmas stockings from these clothes. That's right. Why? Why spend money when you know you don't have any to spend? Yes, we don't need to say that. They don't even know we're poor. They can tell we're on YouTube. Okay. I have a surprise for everybody. We're gonna have a giveaway. We're gonna have a giveaway. That was too, that was too. That um, was corny. Yeah, that was corny. We will be having a giveaway. And in order to qualify, <laughs> bam. No, that's last. Okay. Oh, sorry. This is the, the other thing.